I'm scared. Not cool, Mother Nature. Pray for me. Oh God, terrible start to the video. <laughs> this is the cupcake stand that keeps on giving and it's the best $6 I've ever spent on Amazon. So today I'm taking on a sneaker DIY. It's been a hot minute since I've done anything like footwear related or sneaker related and I'm really hoping that this video makes it to the internet. I have 78% confidence that this video is going to be great and produce a wonderful new Jordan 1. These are the Jordan 1 high women's denim uh, sneakers and honestly, I might order myself a second pair because when I was taking like before pictures, they're so cute and like just a great neutral color that I think are like a little unique. Hopefully this video produces another really cute custom pair, but I'm also gonna order a second pair because they're just like a cute shoe. So. Today, with the power of bleach and color dye, I'm hoping to do like a little gradient. I want to leave all the white leather white and just customize all of like the denim portions on like the toe cap and the side panels to create something like pink, blue, purpley. And I want to give a quick shout out to Vic at Rejuvenator, which is a great play on words. Love that for your branding because he is the inspiration behind this attempt. And he also is going to save me the fuck up from dunking these in bleach as step one because he took them to the team and shared his findings. <laughs> Potentially RIP to these wonderful sneakers or potentially welcome to the world brand new customs Hopefully this cuts to a really successful video and makes it to the internet. Okay Laces out. Vic removed the tongues and the little logo tags here and I Impulsively bought the sewing machine to make sneakers and then a few months later I decided that I jumped the gun and <laughs> sold it to a fellow shoe enthusiast. So I don't have the ability to remove the tongue and sew it back on. So we'll see what happens. Also his set was absolutely stunning. Go check out his video if you want to see some like mad good production quality. Not that it's not great over here on the Lord DIY channel. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that he had some real nice close-up shots. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. A quality close-up shot. You know what? I feel like if things went like super smoothly on this channel, like it just wouldn't be entertaining because who wants to see someone do something perfectly every single time? Uh, not me. And so it's just fun to have a few speed bumps, some hurdles, some stress and chaos along the way. So bleach fucks leather. And I was almost not smart enough to get that bleach lid off and that was that was tough that was tough for me so i'm gonna just do an even coat of bleach on just the denim elements of the sneaker pop them in the sun for like 15 20 minutes also it was pouring rain like piss pouring rain this morning in la and when i tell you i could not tell you the last time that it rained in this city and today is like the one day that i need mother nature to be on my side for like a literal element of the diy not cool not cool mother nature so anyways the sun is out and i'm gonna set these in the sun after doing an even coat of bleach and uh we will hopefully be achieving a white bleached denim to impress me in the way that it can bleach things. <laughs> I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but bleach is kind of magic. The blue pigment is like essentially gone to, I feel like the bleachy white that happens when you bleach things. So I've got a 10 to one ratio of water to hydrogen peroxide and this little um, scrubby to put on all of the areas that have the bleach to neutralize it because obviously I can't just like dunk it into, well, I guess you could dunk it. We're not gonna do that though. I'm gonna do a little scrubby situation and we can start neutralizing this bleach before adding water. Truly 
quite a success. Rinse the bleach out and I have one singular pair of gloves to get me through this entire process of two shoes and five different very pigmented dyes. Pray for me. I'm scared. I'm scared. So one of the techniques I've seen is using the actual tie-dye bottles, but I think I'm going to have more control with a brush. The plan is a pink to purple to blue gradient. Let's start. And contact. Oh, okay. So that spreads very quickly. The good thing though is that it really doesn't absorb into the leather because there's a coating on it. Ooh, that is quite nice. Oh yeah, foam brush was 100% the move here. Also, I just want to make a statement. If there's like a little part of the shoe along the sole here that doesn't dye, it's because there is a glue there, therefore will not absorb dye. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, next color, that looks good. We don't have some kind of catastrophe. Within the next hour of these drying, they look really kind of good. Quite happy with them, to be honest. So I'm gonna let these dry and then we can lace them up and we'll do some like fun little after shots. We'll bring the cupcake spinner back in. I went with the pink tongue just because you won't even really be able to see it once they're properly laced up. But I think it's like cute to like bring a little pop out with the pink on the swoosh. I think they look pretty good. Mission quite accomplished. I don't know how to set up this camera angle to show you. They look so good. Also, yes, I crease my sneakers. I firmly believe in wearing them and therefore creasing them. Wait, 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 wait. How was that? Was that really aesthetic? Damn. These are cute. 